Welcome to Exchange Education. Today we'll be learning how to sign on to MOO. So you can sign on in two ways. One, you type your username and a password. Click on the eyelash to check your password if it's capital letters or small letters. And after that, click on the orange icon. The second option is to use the QR code. Click on the yellow QR code and the camera on your device will open up immediately. Use that camera point it on the QR code that's been given to you by your teacher and then this QR code will automatically allow you to access your account. Now that you have entered the account, the teacher will have told you what story to look for and what grade the storybook is. So for example, the book we are looking for is in grade 1. So you go to this icon, you click here, look for grade 1. And if the teacher is asking you to look for the book Sandcastles, you will scroll right or left to move the stories and find the book Sandcastles. Now, sometimes you are supposed to scroll up or down. So it depends on the type of device you have. So once you have found the book, click on it and then something else will appear. Next step, click on the Add button. The device will automatically download the story. Click on the New button to create a new story and project. For this story, there are three characters. In this case, we're just going to pretend to be all three characters. We're going to act as all three characters. So first, you'll click on your name. You'll see the list of names of people in your class. Click on the me icon to act as all three characters. Your name will appear below the icon. So in this case, I've repeated the process earlier three times. Once you have done that, you are ready to act. So click on the orange button below. Next, position your camera such as facing you. What you're going to do is that you're going to press the record button. And once you press the record button, you'll read out loud and clear the sentence over here. As you can see, the device is able to capture your face, your reactions and your emotions. So read with expressions and fluency. If your face is not facing the camera, the device will not be able to pick up your facial expressions. So it will put a question mark. As you can see, after I press recording, it will continue recording until you press the stop button. So once you are finished with the full stop, immediately press the stop button. Once you have completed your recording, notice that all the icons have returned to its original state. And that on the left side, there's a number one. The first slide, the first page has a green tick. It means that this page is complete. You can check the page by pressing play again to view your recording and your facial expressions. So once you're happy with your recording, you may click on this slide number two to start your next recording. If you're not pleased with your recording, you may press record again and your previous work will be deleted. So if you're happy with it, go to the next slide by pressing slide two. If you're not happy with it, press record to re do a retake. In this case, I'll be going on to the next slide, number two. Now that we have clicked on slide number two or page number two, it's time to press recording again. So in this case, I've already pressed recording. You can see the words recording. So my face is currently not shown in the pictures because my camera is not pointed at my face. So when I record, make sure that the camera is pointed at my face and you will read loud and clear. And once you're done, press the square or the record button again to stop your recording. Once you have done the recording, you may click on the play button. So notice that I've already clicked on the play button and there's a word that says playing over here. To stop the playing, press the square and everything will return back to normal. And you'll notice that there'll be a green tick on the second page or slide showing that you have completed this story. And then you want to move on to the next story by clicking on number three, slide number three or page number three. 
and the process repeats itself until you have completed the book. Let's say that I have completed all my slides and there are ticks on all my slides all the way to the end. We have finished reading the book. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the preview button, the one that looks like an eye. We're going to click on it. Next, you have two options. You can either watch the whole story by pressing this play button or you can click preview to publish to my channel. So for now, I would like you to click on the publish to my channel because the teacher wants to see your work. If you do not click on this publish to my channel, the teacher will not be able to see your work and this video will only be for you to see. So don't forget, once you're completed with your work, click the publish to my channel. The device will then automatically upload your video to the cloud. You will be directed to this page. What I want you to do is to click my channel. Then you'll be directed to my channel and you'll notice that these are all the videos from our class. So you can see each video by clicking on them and you can see what your friends have published so far. So for example, I'm going to click on what I've recently published. From there, you will see your video by clicking play. You can even comment on your own video or comment on your friend's video. And your friends can comment on your video. But if you don't like what you see, you want to redo your video, you may click the delete button. But do note, once you press the delete button, it's not one slide, it's every single slide. So why don't you just leave it there and just do a new project so you can see your second video and your first video and then if you don't like your first video, you can come back and press the delete button. So to record a new video, click on the three bars over here. So from this page, you can click sign out to log out of your account or you can click home to return to see more stories. So I'm going to click home. Now that you have returned to the home page, you can click on Sandcastles to do another video with the same story. If not, you can scroll right or left, up and down, depending on your device, to look for new stories to record yourself. 